If you're watching this video, it's more likely your TV has a double image like this. Um, when you do the screen test, you have the double image. It does not help uh, to do the test, and it gives you this menu to call Samsung. You may have warranty, you may not. In this case, this TV didn't have a warranty. Uh, to do this, I had to have a space where I had plenty of light and a safe spot to put the TV down on its face. So I used a small couch with a blanket here. Uh, the only tools I needed was a clear piece of tape here, some scissors, a few different size screwdrivers, and a cable connector for the screen. So I start out here by removing the four bolts that hold the mount down for the TV. And when you uh, remove this, go ahead and kind of lift forward, and pull back. It's the easiest way to remove it. And then you're going to have six small screws towards the center of the TV. You're going to go ahead and remove those six small screws. And I like to use a screwdriver with a magnetic tip, which I did have. This makes everything a lot easier when working with these small screws. Pick them up and everything and put them to the side. Next, you're going to want to go ahead and remove the surrounding screws on the edge of the TV that hold the back panel on. And when you go to remove the back panel, Take care not to uh, hit the coax cable or the PC connector. Go ahead and lift up from the back and just kind of let it do its thing coming up there. Don't, don't pry it up or anything like that. Take your time. Make sure you took all the screws out. Next, you're going to want to remove the speakers. Here's the wiring. It's taped down here. Go ahead and take the tape off and snake through the wiring back to the speaker. Uh, the speakers just lift right out from where they are. There's little metal tabs that come up. That's where they sit, the little holes there. There's no connector. There's no uh, mounts or screws. And you're just going to want to disconnect the connector, electrical connect connector for the speaker. Small tab you just pull up on. And just pull back and the connector comes right out. Then you're going to want to put the speakers to the side. Then you go ahead and remove the two screws remaining for that uh, plastic bracket, plastic cover. And then the two screws for this mounting bracket. This actually helps support the uh, stand that the TV sits, uh, stands on, sits on. Got to lift right up. And you'll see two little tabs protruding here, right there. And right there, these are going to come in handy later when going to put that mounting bracket back in place. This wire here is optional to remove. You're going to remove the six small screws connecting the metal protector strip at the bottom. I used a small Phillips head. It made this very helpful to me. Um, like I said, get a couple different size Phillips head heads to uh, match these screws because it does really help. After you remove those screws, that uh, metal strip comes right up and you're going to remove the four pieces of tape holding down the electronic connectors and here I want to point out the ribbon bands this one on the right controls the right side of the TV and the one on the left controls the left side of the TV so there's actually two separate panels so to say what you're going to want to do is connect the power so we have power to the TV then uh, coax cable or antenna so that we can have a picture to refer to. Then removing this ribbon band here there's a little tab. Go ahead and gently use your fingernail to lift the tab up. And this will allow you to remove the ribbon band from its slot. Be very careful. This is delicate. Take your time. Do not use force here. You just pick up the tab lightly. Just take that rear band. It comes right out of its slot. As you can see, the screen has one side lit. The other side is completely dark. This is because we removed the ribbon band from the right side of the TV. A clear piece of tape and cut it down to a smaller size. I did this quite a few times to get the right size piece of tape. Have patience when doing this. 
um, you're gonna need it. I tried it. The bigger the piece, the worse the picture was. The smaller the piece, the picture became better. You don't want to use too small of a piece, but kind of just find the right spot for it. I found that coming, working my way from the left side here towards the right, uh, giving a smaller piece of tape as I went was the most useful and helpful way to go. I used a full piece along the whole length of the, of the ribbon band and it completely blocked out the whole screen. And you can see here where that tape sits. You see it's just a small little piece of tape. Um, very simple. This is the repair kit here. Um, I'm going to point out right at the tip there, that's where the tape sits, just at the tip on that on that gold strip there. Just the smallest little amount. Now we're going to go ahead and reinsert that ribbon connector back into its slot and let it sit by itself, okay? There's no need to push that in with force or anything. We didn't push the tab down so the screen's not lit yet the right way. but. Just let this sit in a slot. It's going to have enough uh, uh, play on it to kind of move back and forth, but it also has plenty of um, resistance pushing on it. So after you push that in, you hopefully should get it something looking like that with the channel. Um, after a couple times of messing with it, you know, you may get it the first time. It may take several times. Uh, go ahead and run a screen test. After you get the picture looking good, there's no double image. Um, and just check to see if you have these little lines here. Uh, this happened to me a couple times uh, when I was doing the TV. Um, so again, just have patience. You can fix this here. Um, what you're going to want to do is get the TV back into position. You can work it. Uh, just connect that tab, okay? So you'll be working on the one side of the screen here. And getting into going into the service menu for the TV, you're going to use the um, self-help for the picture, do a screen test. You get that screen test uh, picture of the beach scene again. And when that comes up, you're going to be able to um, put the TV back down and up and use your fingers to kind of work that ribbon connector back into its slot. Again, very lightly, gentle. Be gentle with this. No force is needed. You'll see the lines are still exist. They're still present. So I'm going to work this ribbon connector a little bit to kind of get it to where I like where the screen looks. Again, just let it do its thing. Just let it sit right in there ever so gently. And you'll see the lines start to go away. And right when you get it about where you want it, which that looks pretty good, you're going to go ahead and just uh, gently push down that tab to keep it where it is. This is not rocket science. This is pretty simple. The pro problem does not exist at this point. Everything looks really good on this, on this TV screen. Now the reassemble, it's the reverse of putting uh, every, taking everything apart. What I like to do uh, as I'm putting this back together, as you can see, I'll put the power cord back in from time to time and test the screen to make sure that everything is looking good. The little mounting brackets there, the mounting bracket, you see a little two little uh, protruding pins come out, and that's where you're gonna mounting bracket's gonna go on. It's very simple. And the uh, plastic uh, backing there. Test the screen. And I want to put, put the speakers back in place. They are marked left and right. Pretty simple. If you're having trouble dif uh, differing the right sides that they go on, refer just to the cable connector. The, the wiring is shorter on one side. So you go ahead and snake that wire back through where it sits. Speakers just sit right in their spots, make the connection. And when you put the tape down, be careful not to put it over the screw hole. You're going to need that later. You want to have access to that hole. All right, and when you put down your back panel, just nice and easy, line it up. Take your time with this. This whole process just involves some patience throughout the entire thing. And really, if you have the patience, it pays off. Go ahead and put all your screws back in, all around the outside of the TV. And um, you're going to want to insert the six small screws towards the uh, center of the TV. And then we're going to go ahead and 
do the uh, four mounting bolts. All right, we're gonna insert the we're gonna go ahead and insert the mount for the TV stand. Tilt up on the mount, and you'll see the two slots it goes into. And then you on the back side, there's two more slots. So tilt up, lay flat, and then push in. This is the easiest way to do it. And then just put the four screws back in there. Hold that back in place. And then test the picture one last time. Make sure you're getting everything looking good. No double image here. No lines. This picture looks really great. Um, this is such a simple process uh, with that clear piece of tape. It costs next to nothing if you have the tools. Um, so this seemed to be working really well with this TV for me now for about six months. I actually found this TV on the side of a road uh, where I live in my neighborhood. So um, this is a pretty good find and a very easy fix. So I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope your problem, you can say, does not exist anymore here. And that you have a beautiful LED TV screen to watch all sorts of nice channels on. So please like and subscribe and comment below. And I really do hope this helps.